So welcome everybody. Today is October the 10th, 2020. So that means it is 10, 10, 2020. We're in the October gateway. So um, that's why I um, want to do a channeling this evening rather than on a Sunday, because it's such a beautiful um, synchronicity of numbers. For those who are new to my channeling is um, usually what I do is I would um, take everybody into a brief meditation. And when I really feel the energy starting to come through me, then I'll start with the, the, the channeling. And then afterwards, we will have a question and answer period. And that's the, the rest of our evening. Um, as to who Kriya is, Kriya is um, Kriya is a part of the Cryon So group. And if you're not sure who Cryon is, the very short answer is that Cryon is um, an entity that is responsible for um, the magnetic, adjusting the magnetic environment of Earth, and also for any other planets that needed that assistance, because um, the magnetic quality of the, the planet will determine the frequency of the people that are on the planet as well. Um, not that everyone is, has to be a certain frequency with each person has their own ability to tune into whatever vibration or frequency it is that they wish to. However, um, that is through the really the, the, the efforts of each individual to maintain their own frequency. Whereas anyone else who does not have that, um, does not have that wish or have that uh, focus, they would usually be within a certain band of frequency that is supported by the, the planet itself. And because the planet Earth itself is, has now shifted into fifth dimension, so that's why uh, I think it's starting 1987, um, Cryon had been on Earth um, really monitoring the, the, the magnetic frequency of Earth and adjusting the, 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 the magnetic um, or the magnetic mechanisms on Earth to facilitate the, uh, all the participants that's on Earth right now to start to grow um, our awareness and consciousness with uh, uh, our Mother Earth. So this is who Cryon is and Kriya. Um, what I feel in terms of energetically is that when Cryon comes talk to me, the energy is much, much heavier. Uh, or I should say it's much more hmm, dominant. And it feels more like, um, it feels more like um, a male, energy, whereas when Kriya comes around is a much more gentle and loving and energy, much as I, I don't, um, from what Kriya and Kryon has mentioned to me, they have never taken human form, which means that in terms, they, they don't really take on a uh, agenda, a gender, meaning that there is, they don't have male or female, or that they actually have both male and female energy in them. And it really depends on what they want to accomplish. So sometimes they would, um, they sometimes they would show more what we would consider as masculine energy. And sometimes they would show what we would consider on earth as more feminine energies. So um, mm, that's what I've, feel the difference between cryon and Kriya is really uh, the how how they appear to me and and what it is that I um, I feel 
whenever they are around. So Kriya is a much more loving and really um, accepting energy. Uh, not that Kryon is, you know, stern with me. It's just that um, that's in terms of how I, I feel in my body when when both Kryon or Kriya talk to me, that's the, the difference between the two. So anyways, without further ado, let's start with the, the, the brief meditation. So I invite all of you to start to simply make yourself comfortable if you're not sitting in a comfortable position already and start to turn your thoughts inwards and to just follow the rhythm of your own breath. So just gently breathe in and allow your whole body to inflate and take in as much new oxygen as possible. And when you cannot hold it anymore, then breathe out. And so repeat this process a few more times with the intention that you just want to put your attention on breathing. So breathing in and breathing out as though you need to really watch and pay attention to this act of breathing. Even though we have been breathing in and out for the whole day or for our whole life, we have been doing that very unconsciously. In this moment of now, be very conscious of every breath you breathe in and every time you breathe out. And as you breathe out, allow your body to become more and more relaxed. And as you breathe in, take all the oxygen all the way inside your body. And as you breathe out, then let go of all the energies that does not support you to be in this moment of now. Allow yourself to smooth out your breathing and then set the intention now to shift your focus away from your head, from your thoughts and now just move it into your heart. So you can do that by either just lightly touching your heart or just imagine that you're stepping inside this energetic elevator. And when you're in this energetic elevator, just look for the button that has the symbol of your heart on it and just press that button and allow this energetic elevator to smoothly and easily take you all the way down to your heart. And when you feel this energetic elevator stopping, then just imagine the doors of this elevator opening up and you simply move smoothly inside your heart. And as you do that, feel that extra sense of being at ease, of being comfortable in your heart. And when you are in your heart, just feel whatever it feels like to be in your heart. And start to feel, start to imagine what it feels like to be in love with yourself, to be absolutely unconditionally in love with yourself. Feel what it feels like to love yourself unconditionally. 
does not matter and what you look like does not matter how old you are or how young you are does not matter whether you have long hair or short hair does not matter whether you have wrinkles or no wrinkles does not even matter whether you have hair or no hair just accept and love yourself unconditionally and love everything that you have created for yourself love this life that you're living and allow yourself to be filled with unconditional love. And that truly is who you are, this unconditional love. And imagine that you can actually breathe from your heart. Imagine being able to breathe more and more of this unconditional love from the universe, from all your environment, from Mother Earth, from Father Sky. Mother Earth supports us no matter who we are, no matter what the color of your skin, no matter what you have done or have failed to do. Mother Earth does not put any condition. Mother Earth is there to support us. And so is Father Sky. So is the sun. The sun does not care who you are, where you've been, what you have done. The sun will shine on each and every one equally. Unconditional love. Allow yourself to feel this cocoon of unconditional love that is now surrounding you. And the more you breathe in, the more you accumulate more of this unconditional love from within your heart and from all around you as well. Feel, allow this gratefulness to start to grow within you. It is such a beautiful time of year. I know some of you may have a different opinion. However, if you simply allow yourself to see with your heart and not see with your eyes, not just see with your eyes, but see with your heart and really feel how much is there for you to be thankful, for you to be grateful for. We may not have riches, beyond our imagination that we all are able to have our needs, our basic needs met, which is more than I can say for some of the other people on earth right now. 
for those of us who actually have a roof over our head and food on the table and have loved ones around us and have the awareness and be able to remember who you truly are. You're part of the creator source. And this, this already is a great source. of gratefulness because it really takes a lot of effort to start to remember who you truly are. You have, or I should say the human collective has really took on the task of falling asleep of absolutely forgetting who each and every one of us truly are. We are an aspect of the creator source. We are creators and we actually create for ourselves seamlessly every moment in our life whether we are conscious of it or not, we are always creating. We are creating all the experiences for ourselves. And for the longest time, the human collective has managed to create fear, sadness, drama, suffering, And with the awakening of Mother Earth, we are all encouraged to wake up. Wake up from this forgetting. Because even though we have been fast asleep for thousands of years, deep within our heart, we always, there is a glimmer of remembrance. And it is this glimmer of remembrance that is now being supported by all of Mother Earth and all of Mother Sky and Father Sky. And we are all being called to start to remember to start to fan the spark of remembering. And a lot of you, even though you on some level know that within you is divinity, or at the very least, you remember that you are a lot more than who you believe yourself to be right now. That, that that little spark that has never been disting extinguished, it is now being encouraged, fanned, and supported to start to grow. And the more you tune in, the more you're able to let go of the drama outside and simply get back within to look at that little spark within you that remembers who you are. For some, this is already a raging fire that is inspiring you to start to support other people 
and support their awakening. And some of you may be just beginning to notice that something is not right. Something does not make sense about this world. How come I don't resonate with what I see outside? How come when I hear the news, there's something about it that does not quite resonate? You don't, you don't quite know how to put your finger on it, but somehow there's something amiss in your life. You don't quite know what that is. But that is really how that little spark of divinity, of the eternal essence that is within you, is trying to catch your attention, to look within, rather than to try to find who you are outside. Because who you are is not outside. Who you are steep within and when you start to remember that oh it does not resonate because outside whatever it is that i have created the situation that i've created for myself is there is a a bread crumb in there that is leading me to look inwards. And when you can start to take the time, allow yourself to let go of defining who you are by looking outside and switch that around to start to get to know who you truly are the creator source within you. Start to let go of other people's idea of who you are supposed to be. And start to really sort out what really resonates with you from within. And then when you start to breathe with that inner rhythm. And every time you breathe in and focus more to this inner rhythm, you are growing that spark within you. I just feel that part of you, within you that knows which way to turn and which step to go next. When you start to listen to those and start to take action, start to follow this inner guidance even though your head may be telling you, um, you know, that's not going to work. What would other people say? And you start to care more about being congruent within, trusting that voice within yourself and spending some time within yourself to start to grow this inner knowing. Now is the best time to do that because the energy is so supportive. When you truly tune into the joy, light, love, that is within you, that is trying to come through you and start to allow yourself to heal. The wounds that you have 
sustained. Is not a physical wound. It is rather a spiritual wound. Perhaps wound may not be the best word for it. It is really more of a mismatching, an incongruence. It is like trying to put your foot into a pair of shoes that has some sand. You don't have to be big sand or big or, or、uh, a piece of rock, as big as a piece of rock, but just tiny little grain of sand in it. It will make you uncomfortable when you try to walk in that pair of shoes, and even if that pair of shoes is something that you have been wearing for almost all your life, you seem to have become so accustomed to having those grains of sand. That you actually, your feet has grown tougher and harder to insulate yourself. However, now you're being asked to heal yourself, meaning to let go of those grains of sand. That has been rubbing against you. You know that there's something about your life that is somehow not quite resonating with who you truly are, and that. Because you have been thought that this is what life is, this is what being a human being is. That you try to fit in, you try to shove your infinite creative self, the true self, into this pair of shoes with grains of sand in it that is rubbing against. Your delicate, innocent soul, and yes, your soul has to cope, and it has developed as a coping mechanism certain degree of being disconnected, disconnected with your true self, because your true self. Is really not quite resonating with what being a human being had looked like for many years now, and now you're being shown, you're being reminded that it is really not a very good practice. To shove yourself, to shove your true self, into this little pair of shoes, because you are capable of so much more. And while you don't need to all of a sudden just throw this pair of shoes out the window right this moment. That you are being guided to start to really notice what had happened and what you are seeing in the world right now is is what that is is 
is the equivalent of that. What you see outside, what you see on the news, what you see on alternative media, what you see in your family, what you see in your workplace. Notice what is being shown to you. How have you managed to keep yourself small? How have you managed to keep yourself thinking that you are this little human being? You are so much more, so much more than this body. You are capable of so much more. Even just one of you who fully awaken to your true self is so powerful that one truly awakened person can hold its own against 10,000 human beings who still believe that they are this human being calling themselves the name that they were given at birth. one to 10,000, maybe even more. If you really fully allow yourself to play at the level of an awakened soul, and now this is, this is the beginning of you walking that path. Everywhere you look around you, you are being shown ways that you have been seduced into being small, seduced into believing that if you don't do what other people has laid out for you, that it's going to be dangerous. It's going to be not safe. It's going to be difficult. I would like to remind you that you're a creator. You are first rate, first class creator, each and every one of you. The only difference is you believing that. When you really have a vision of what it is that you want to create, of the world that you want to create in, when you have healed yourself of believing the small you, of believing in the limited you, when you have let go of that. Hmm, what's the name for that? When you have let go of that straight jacket, when you can let go of all those Force, false belief about yourself, those fake news about yourself, then it truly, you can simply think of something that you would love to experience. And you can literally see the universe conspiring to create that for you 
to drop it on your lap. And now it is really time to start to heal the part of you that believe that you're limited. There's nothing wrong with believing that you're limited, nothing at all. But I want to remind you that you have tried to live that way for enough years. And now it is time for you to remember that there is much more to experience. To create at a completely unimaginable level. I'm not asking you to do that tomorrow. Not that you cannot do that tomorrow. It's just that you can start by taking a small step first. Instead of looking in the mirror and believing that that is your face, I want you to look into the mirror and be okay with the face that you see in the mirror. And remember, that you can actually change that face. Absolutely possible. Because your body is flexible, a lot more flexible than you believe it to be. If you like to have a bigger head, or a smaller head, it is actually quite changeable. You can do that. Oh, I know you don't believe me right now, but you can actually change so much about your body. If you want to be taller, you can be. If you want to be younger, you can be. Don't try to change yourself by moving the clock backwards 10 years, but start by just moving it back a week. And then when you are successful, move it back a month and then move it back a year before you start to move it back 10 years. Really know that you can do that. And don't trust, don't settle for the face that you see in the mirror. And when you see in the mirror, see only the face that you wish to see. Superimpose the face that you want to see in the mirror. That is one way of doing that. And have absolutely no judgment to the face that you have right now. Because it is simply a mock-up is simply a template for you to build on from there. And that is one of the key to shifting 
Shifting your reality. Be okay with what is. But see yourself as what you truly want to be. And shift into that. And that is the capability of every human being. Not a special person, but everyone is capable of doing that. And the only reason you have not been able to do that is because you need to heal yourself first. Heal yourself from all the judgments that you have about yourself. About how you've grown up, about your parents, about your siblings, about the people around you. When you can really get to the point where you can be okay with everything that has happened in your life or okay with everything that has not happened in your life, and be able to truly just fill yourself in this moment with unconditional love. Observe what is and be in unconditional love and unconditional acceptance. And then go right on shift into what it is that you wish it to be. There are layers and layers of mismatched memories that is being held energetically in your body. And you are the person, you are the only one who can integrate all of that. Integrate meaning to let go of judgment. Let go of needing it to be different. Let go of resisting it. Breathe in this acceptance. Breathe in this unconditional acceptance for yourself. And on behalf of your family, and on behalf of your country and on behalf of the human collective. It seemed like a lot of things to have to accept unconditionally. That is not 
because we have been conditioned to believe that we are this body. We are this person and we are not. There is no beginning and no end. of you. The body that you see in the mirror is simply a placeholder. Imagine a piece of music that has all these different notes. And when you play the notes, they all relate to one another in order to compose, to make up a beautiful piece of music. Think of your body as being one of these notes. And think of who you are as this piece of music. You're more than just your body. You are the whole piece of music. All of these bodies, past, present, and future. And your consciousness simply move in and out. Your consciousness move into the body that you see in the mirror. And there's a certain frequency and vibration. It makes a certain sound. And then your consciousness move into someone else and be able to experience this reality as a different being. And even though you may not consciously remember how it feels to be this other person, and that is how magnificent this creation is, we are actually just one consciousness, one being that is flipping between all these different perspective, all these different bodies. We are actually all, our consciousness is all of the human collective. I know not all of you would be able to consciously tap into this level of knowing. But you are always unconsciously connected to this level of knowing. For now, simply remember that you are more than this body and feel, and just feel what it feels like. To allow yourself to heal, to let go. of the experiences that has dampened your enjoyment of life. If 
Life is to be enjoyed. Feel this, this moment. We wish you to feel this moment. And simply allow the energy that is flowing through you, around you, inside and out, to assist you to integrate. Allow yourself to feel safe because you are. Allow yourself to feel loved because you are. You are unconditionally loved. Allow yourself to be fully embodied in this body. Allow yourself to be able to feel your infinite self through this body. Because this body wants to work with you. many, many eons ago. This body, this wonderful body was created and brought to earth. to put in a special place on earth that is called the ovium. To energize and allow this body to be fully integrated. And with earth. and earth welcome this new body, the latest baby. That was gifted to earth, to mother earth. And mother earth nurtured this body And Mother Earth remembers each and every body that was ever created and procreated on Earth. And there has been so many distortions and torture to this body. And so Mother Earth is now supporting, supporting our body to start to heal, to start to wipe out 
all the memories that does not support this body to come alive as well, to support us to create at a very different level. So this is our gift for you this evening, is we assisting you, channeling in energy to heal your bodies. Not just your body, but any ancestors that is connected to your bodies. We heal their trauma too. We're channeling energies from the ovium of Mother Earth. To pass through your bodies. To open up the channels of energies. To awaken the innate function of your bodies that had been shut down because of past traumas. Some of them have been passed down to you from your lineage on your mother's side or your father's side. Let the violet flame from the ovium of Mother Earth to assist your bodies to let go of all those traumas, to be okay. so that your body don't need to be in fight or flight mode anymore. So that I can get back to safe. Can get back to sacred. It can become once again the vessel of joy, light, love, a fitting vessel for your soul. Joy, light, love. That is your true nature. Allow your shoulders to relax. You don't have to fight anymore. You don't have to run anymore. You 
You are the creator source. You create with your body. You allow your body to assist you to manifest all that comes forth from your heart. Create from joy, light, love. That is the only way to create. Feel the energies from Mother Earth supporting you. Allow yourself to heal. Allow your body to heal. Allow this energy to pass through each and every one of your cells, to go through all of your DNA, relaxing them, untwisting them, so that your DNA no longer need to be burdened by your ancestors' trauma anymore. So that your DNA can start to remember for you Allow your body, allow the energies that are supporting you 
to animate your body. To be able to flow. All throughout. Supporting your body to break up stuck energy, energies that have been held in place by certain thought forms that you have adopted or that has been passed on to you from many generations of conditioning. Allow yourself to be this new kit on the block that does not need to be constrained by old thought forms that no longer resonate with who you truly are. It is time to pick that pair of shoes that is filled with sand. Pick those up and simply allow all the sands, all the things that's been rubbing against the soles of your feet for so long now. It's trying, it is time to get rid of those Time to get rid of those thought forms that believe in limiting, containing you. Let go of the emotions that has been stirred up by all the conversations that you've been playing in your head after all these years. It is time to allow a new conversation in, a conversation that fills you with unconditional love, fills you with unconditional acceptance. That reminds you that you are joy, light, love. And you're the creator of your own experience. Don't look to your left or to your right for directions to live your life. Simply check within your heart. Does this resonate with me? And if it does, then simply announce it to the universe. This is how I want to experience life from my heart. Thank you for bringing all that to me. 
I am grateful. And that is all we want to say to you this evening. We love you. We are grateful for everything that you have done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>